Road safety advocates have condemned a group of Adelaide cyclists who want helmets to be optional for adult riders. The group today defied the law, staging a protest ride along Linear Park and called on authorities to grow up. Just days from a court appearance to contest a fine for refusing to wear a helmet while cycling, Sue Abbott was today back on her bike and at it again. I know I'm breaking the Australian law, but I believe that the law is flawed. So do the other 40 cyclists who joined her in a rebellious protest ride along the Torrens Riverbank. They want the government to make it optional for adult bike riders to wear a helmet. Making a helmet mandatory sends the message that cycling is dangerous and that scares people off cycling. While police allowed these cyclists to break the law today, road safety authorities warned them not to get used to it. The Motor Accident Commission and the RA8 dumbfounded by the protest. Winding things back means we're reducing the level of safety, so it's, it seems a, a strange thing to, uh, to pursue. But the group says helmets aren't the answer. Which will really only protect a part of their body. And which still a very, a very important part of their body, though. important part of their body, but will still only protect a part of your body. Politicians grow up, safety advocates grow up. I don't do anything extreme. I'm a middle-aged woman. When you come off your bike, the things that usually tend to get hit first are your head, your shoulders, or your arms. So I mean, it's pretty important to provide that additional level of protection. Brett Burney, Nine News.